All right, so that's it. That is the end of the video. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another sublimation quickie. All right, so in this video, we're gonna be sublimating some fiberglass keychains. There's all types of keychains that you could buy. This one is a fiberglass. This one here is a piece of metal that is an insert for this one right here. All right, so you would sublimate this and when you got done, you would stick it on the inside of it and it would look like that. There are also metal keychains that you can get also. But for this video, like I said, we're gonna be doing the fiberglass keychain. Go ahead, go over to the computer and the sawgrass so we can see the steps that I take to do this right here. All right, so if you guys have been following these sublimation quickies, you guys know that I use a sawgrass 800. And the reason I went with the sawgrass 800 is because of the features that it has. One thing I like about the sawgrass printer is the self maintenance. I don't have to do any maintenance on it. If I don't constantly use the sawgrass printer, I don't have to worry about the heads clogging up. This thing will go into sleep mode uh, and then whenever it's time to do a cleaning, it will then wake itself up and conduct its own maintenance. So that is the biggest reason that I have gone with this printer right here. One of the biggest questions that I get asked all the time is do I recommend converting a printer to a sublimation printer? Um, and when someone asks me that question, I always tell them, no, I can't recommend that because I've never used it. I've always used a Sawgrass 800. Uh, whenever I first found out about sublimation, I started looking up sublimation printers. Whenever I did my research about the Sawgrass 800 and the Sawgrass 400 at the time, um, I decided to go with the Sawgrass 800 because I knew that if I wasn't constantly using it, that it would do its own maintenance. And that's what is really good about this printer right here. So if you want to eliminate all those problems of converting a printer over, right, and then having it mess up on you because you're not constantly using it, I would now go with the Sawgrass 500 just because it does its own maintenance. And that's really big whenever it comes to sublimation. All right, so let's go ahead, go back to the computer. I'm gonna show you the images that we're gonna be printing and then we're gonna press them onto two keychains. So let's go back. All right, so this is the image that we're gonna be printing right here onto the keychain. All right, so as you guys know that the keychain is white and if you look at this, I added a black background and then I added the image on top of that. So we're gonna be doing two different ones. Let me show you what we're gonna be doing. So we're doing a, a black tag and then we're gonna do a white tag with the black letters. So we're gonna do this one. We're gonna hit print. Successfully queued. We're gonna wait for it to pop up. All right, so once the print manager pops up, we're gonna come here, we're gonna select, select our substrate and then we're gonna select our paper. I like using the text art print paper. And then we're going to come up here to layout. So once I hit layout, we're using eight and a half by 11 sheet. It always defaults it to the middle of the page. All you have to do is hit uncheck center and it's going to move it up. So then you could put some spacing between that and the top. So there we are there, right? So now I want to print two of these because I want one side to have this and then the other side to have uh, the same image. So all you have to do is come to jobs and then copies hit two so now we got two copies like that so if you want to print another image on here all you have to do is come back over here to your gallery your images and then we're going to do the black one right so there's our black one here let me delete delete this one put that one in the trash can and then our black background we're going to put that one in the trash can. So here we are with this one. We got to size our image down to one inch. So we're there, we're one inch the way we want it. And then we're going to simply hit print again and go through the same process. All right, so our print manager's back up. And as you can see, we have one job here with the black and then we have another job here with the white. So now what we're going to do again is we're going to come here and hit change the number from one to two and now we have our two images so if I wanted to print something else I would keep doing the same thing until I got all the way down so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another image on here because I'm also doing a mug for this customer too all right so now that I have all three on there I'm gonna go ahead and print it and I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out all right so here's our prints right here I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna cut them out so I can get them ready for the keychain all right, so here's our first one right here. We're gonna take our keychain. We're gonna put it on here the way we want it. Once we get it the way we want it, we're gonna use our heat tape and we're gonna tape it 
into place. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do the next one. Another thing you wanna look for is lint whenever you're doing sublimation. If you press lint onto whatever you're pressing, you will see the lint on the print whenever you uh, finish it. So same thing, put your heat tape the way you want it. Once you got it, we're gonna take it over to the press. All right, so here we are. We have our images ready to go. Um, unlike doing metal, Whenever you do metal, you want the image on the bottom and you press the metal. Um, this is a thicker substrate, so whenever you do this, you want the image on top and the substrate on the bottom. We're going to do this for 400 degrees for 60 seconds. Make sure you use parchment paper so none of the um, sublimation transfers to your heat platen or the bottom. So we're going to do this, close it for 60 seconds. All right, so once it's done, you're going to take this off. It's going to be very hot. So what I would do, what I like to do is just tear the paper down the middle so that you won't catch any ghosting. Same thing with this one. Very hot. Tear it down the middle. So there are our two sublimated images right there. And I will show you once they cool down. So here are our images right here. So we did this side and we did this side. They came out really good. So, also whenever you order keychains like this, wherever you order them from, um, it should come with one of these little plastic pieces right here and whatever this ring is called. So what you do with this is, you go ahead and you stick it on one side, you put your ring in there, and then clamp it together, and there is your keychain. Same thing with this one. And that's how keychains are made. Pretty cool, huh? So here are the ones that I'm going to put on the mug. I'm not going to do it in this video, but we will be doing these for this mug right here. All right, so that's it. I just want to take you guys through the process of doing this. We're doing a couple um, samples for them. They wanted to try them out. So we did two keychains. We did some license plates for them. And then... I screen printed a bunch of shirts for them also with the same logo, white shirts and black shirts uh, both ways, right? And then, like I said, we're going to be doing the mug for them also. So I just wanted to take you guys through this sublimation quickie right here. Um, if you are just getting into sublimation, remember, a lot of people always ask, well, what's, what's the temperature? What's the temperature? Sublimation does not occur until it hits 400 degrees. That is always, right? So it's always going to be 400 degrees. The difference is your time. So find out what you are pressing and adjust your time, right? So 400 degrees for sublimation to occur, right? So again, I wanna say thank you guys for watching another one of my videos. Thank you for tuning in to this sublimation quickie. If you guys have any requests, leave a comment down below and I will try to get to it as soon as I can. Someone asked for uh, keychains a while back and since I was doing them, I was like, let me knock this out. So. We went ahead and we did that for whoever that was that asked for that. I finally did it. But if you guys have any requests, and I have it, I will do it. All right? So thank you guys for watching another one of my videos, the Sublimation Quickie. Thank you guys for all the support. And until next time, keep pressing.